toes, spread your toes out nice and wide, bring your toes down, take a little squeeze of the mat with your toes, then stand up nice and tall, relax your shoulders, give the arms a little shake, the shoulders are roll, close the eyes, tummy is relaxed, shoulders are relaxed down the back, just nicely inhaling and exhaling, nice breaths, just to bring yourself into the centre. Starting to inhale and exhale in and out through the nose now. So deepen that breath down deep into the into the collarbone. So it's not a, a sniffy breath. It's more of a so it goes deep into the chest. At the same time, start to just engage the thighs, lift the pelvic floor gently, and gently draw the tummy in, and just direct the breath into the heart space. Shoulders are still relaxed, and the arms are still relaxed. The chin is level with the floor, but the crown of the head is lifting up. So I want to feel like through the crown of my head, I'm lifting each vertebrae of my spine apart, and really being nice and tall, but at the same time, the shoulders and the arms are relaxed. The tummy's engaged, pelvic floor's engaged, and I want to start to deepen that breath down into the chest. So on the inhale, you want to feel the ribs underneath the arms start to expand so you really know you're getting that energy into the heart space. Same time as you inhale and exhale, the tummy remains drawn in. Open the eyes, make a big circle with the arms, reach up, look up to the thumbs, and exhale, soften the knees, fold forward, tummy in, lift a little on an inhale, adjust the feet if you need to, exhale, just relax. Remember you've got a slight bend in the knees, shake the head out, shake the arms out, keeping that tummy drawn in so we keep the breath into the back of the heart space, and all the time the crown of the head going down towards the floor to keep that spine just nicely moving apart. Big breaths here. <coughs> Same big breaths into the chest like you were doing in mountain pose. And inhale, roll up through the spine, open the arms wide, reach up, look up, salute the sun, and exhale, bring the hands to the heart space. Inhale, salute the sun, reach up, look up, bring the hands into a prayer. Exhale, swallow, dive forward. To keep the chin lifted, that keeps length on the front of the body. Tummy in, and exhale, forward bend. Don't push. Once the knees want to bend, just relax the top half of the body from there. And then on an exhale, it might allow you just to loosen them hamstrings off a little bit more. If the hamstrings are tight, if we engage the thigh muscles by sending the message to engage the thigh muscles, it sends a message to disengage the hamstrings. Inhale, roll up through the spine, open the arms, reach up, look up, salute the sun, and exhale the hands to the heart space. Inhale, salute the sun. Exhale, swallow dive forward, keep the chin up, tummy in. Inhale, bend the knees, sit down into an invisible chair. On your next inhale, raise the arms up into your chair pose. So reach through the fingers, lift the pelvic floor, tummy in. Strong breath into the chest. On an exhale, fall forward, straighten the legs. Inhale, back to the press up plank position. Bring the shoulders over the top of the wrist, push into the floor like you're pushing the floor away. Thighs are engaged, pelvic floor is lifted, tummy's in. Look down between the hands for you, keep that long straight spine and big deep breaths. Exhale, tuck the elbows in by the side, come all the way down to the floor. 
Turn the toes flat, elbows in, and this time, just using the back muscles, you want to breathe into the tummy. So we'll take a big inhale into the tummy. Exhale. Exhale into the tummy and use the back muscles to lift the head and the heart up, up and then raise the hands. Strong breath. Bring the hands to the floor, turn the toes under, and then exhale, come over the toes, down the face and go. So again, push into the hands, heels are moving down, tailbone is moving up, tummy is in, pelvic floor lifted, crown of the head relaxed down to the floor, and again, keep them strong breaths into the chest, tummy in. Inhale, lift the head. Exhale, step, walk or jump your feet forward. Lift to a flat back. Exhale to a forward bend. Inhale, come all the way up, reach up, look up, salute the sun. Exhale, hands to the heart space. Inhale, salute the sun. Exhale, swallow down forward, tongue here. Inhale to your press up plank. Exhale to Chaturanga, an inch off the floor or to the floor. Hold that, elbows are tucked in, shoulder blades moving back, thighs lifted. On an inhale, roll over the toes, lift into upward facing dog. Let the hips move down and forward as you roll the chest up. Look up, squeeze and shoulder blades together. And exhale over the toes, downward facing dog. So push the heels down, turn the tailbone up and push into the palms like you're pushing yourself away from the front of the mat. Lift the head and then bend the elbows, bring the forearms down to the floor. Look between the hands. So don't let yourself fall forward, keep pushing back, strong breath. On an inhale, push into both hands, straighten both arms, push back into your down dog. Inhale, lift the head. Exhale, step, walk or jump your feet forward. Lift to a flat back. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, come all the way up, reach up, look up. Exhale, hands to the heart space. Inhale. Exhale, swallow that forward. Inhale, step back into your press up plank. Exhale to chaturanga. Inhale to up dog. Exhale to down dog. Bend the knees, move the sit bones back as far as you can, drop the forearms to the floor. And then we're going to inhale forward, touch the chin between the hands, and exhale back. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten, push back, push the heels down to the floor, coming into your Standard dolphin, push into both hands, straighten the arms, downward facing dog, push the heels down, tailbone up, inhale, lift the head, exhale, step, walk or jump your feet forward, lift to a flat back and exhale, forward bend, inhale, come all the way up, reach up, look up, salute the sun, exhale, the hands to the heart space, inhale, Exhale, 
solid asphalt. Inhale to plank. Exhale to chaturanga. Inhale up dog. Exhale down dog. Drop the knees to the floor, move the sit bones back and again. Bring the forearms down to the floor, push back. And then straighten the legs. So again, we're going to inhale forward, exhale back. So inhale. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, last one, ten, push into the hands, downward facing dog, inhale lift the head, exhale step walk or jump the feet forward, lift to a flat back, ah, exhale forward bend, Inhale, come all the way up, reach up. Exhale, hands to the heart space. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Bend the knees. Come down to seated. Legs are straight. Lift any muscles away from the tailbone. Left hand onto the lap, right hand on top, big breaths. Sitting up nice and tall, take an inhale, on the exhale we're going to reach forward with the left hand, take a hold of the outside of the right foot, and then sit up as straight and tall as I can, draw the shoulders down the back, Right hand forward and inhale, open up for Lord of the Fish. So try and keep that spine nice and long, head is lifted, shoulders down but opening up wide, strong breaths. Now we're going to inhale to the centre, lift the chest, look up. Shoulders back, keep the chin lifted and the tummy in and think the head is moving towards the toes as you exhale forward bend. Inhale, lift up, long spine, reach forward with the right hand for the outside of the left foot and again sit up as straight and as tall as you can, draw that shoulder down and then left hand forward, inhale, open the left shoulder, and again, think tall, rolling that left shoulder open, shoulders are rolling down the back, crown of the head lifted. Inhale to the center, exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up, bring the hands behind the back, bend the knees, and on an inhale, sit up to your table. And exhale, hold the knees into the chest, fall back onto the back. Gently rock from side to side. Bring the soles of the feet together and the knees out to the side. Let the knees fall out to the side and bring the hands down by the side. So we want to focus now 
and just letting the knees fall out to the side. These abductors you might feel, but just bear with them. We're not going to be here all day. And your breath, you want to focus on filling yourself all the way up. So fill the belly up, fill the chest up as much as you can get in. And as you exhale, empty from the chest down and into the tummy. Let's do five big breaths here. When you've done your five breaths, take that right knee and bring it all the way over and rest it on top of the left knee. Use that left hand onto the knee and open the right hand out to the side. So really imagine that your this, this section here between your floating rib and the top of your hip, you just want to feel like you're expanding that so you can breathe into that big open heart space. Nice twist. But we can assist the twist and the release of the spine with the breath by expanding the ribs and the heart space. Open the right knee all the way out to the side. Take the left hand out to the side and then let the left knee come all the way over and rest on top of the right. The right hand can just support that leg and then turn the head, look to that left hand. So we get that lovely spiral corkscrew through the spine, big breaths. And again, really think about that space between the floating ribs and the top of your hip. Just try and expand that a little more, lift the heart open and take big breaths. Opening the legs and then bring them together, hug them in to the chest. And again, a little rock from side to side, release any of that tension in the lower half of the body after doing all of those dolphins at the beginning, powering up the heart space, the shoulders, all of that energy up and through to head, with the head being low and the hips being high, really energizing the top half of the body. Now we want to just be stretching out the hips gently, a few gentle twists. So just rock until you can feel that floor. It's a bit like a roller in a gym. You just want to roll your muscles into the floor just to stop any lactic. And then open your knees, take a hold of your feet, coming into happy baby. So you want your knees to go either side of your body and then pull down with your hands as if you're really trying to get your knees to touch the floor either side of your body. As you do this, you'll feel obviously in, in the abductors here, but also this release in the, in the lower, in the lumbar, in the lower back, just above the pelvis. And you can really sort of pull that back down into the floor and then rock over till your right knee touches the floor and then over till your left knee touches the floor. And then straightening the legs all the way out. Let the feet come about the width of your mat apart, let the feet fall apart, lift the head, have a look down to the toes, make sure you're laying a nice straight line, lay the head down, lift the shoulders up and settle the shoulders down. And then maybe just let the hips find their place. 
Bring the legs forward to the side, hands out to the sky, shoulders are relaxed, eyes are closed. Just now allowing the breath to just come and go. You may find that some breaths are just normal breaths, just in, out, in, out, little, just average breaths. Every now and again, it seems to come out of nowhere, there'll be a big deep breath, just come from nowhere. So just observe the breath. And as we observe the breath, <coughs> The breath will start to get lighter and lighter, shallower and shallower. And then eventually you won't hear the breath at all. You're just allowing yourself to sink into your shavasana. You find you're getting distracted by thoughts, come back to the breath. All the time, just letting go, releasing. When you're ready, slowly start to bring yourself back. Start to become aware <clears throat> of noises inside and outside of the room. Start to gently move fingers and toes to reconnect the body, the mind, the spirit. On your next inhalation, raise your arms up and over your head. And on the exhalation, have a real early morning stretch. Stretch through your fingers, stretch through your toes. Bring yourself right the way back into the here and now. And then keeping the eyes closed, hook the knees into the chest. And then gently rolling onto the right hand side. Taking a moment there. And when you're ready. Come into a comfortable seated position at the front of your mat. So, shoulders are relaxed, tummy is relaxed, the breath is just coming and going, eyes are closed. Try to feel like the head is on top of the shoulders and the shoulders are on top of the hips, so you're not leaning forward. Shoulders are relaxed. Taking your left hand to your heart and your right hand to your tummy. And just take a few moments for your gratitude practice today. What are you truly grateful for in this moment? Visualize that in your mind, feel it in your heart and let that gratitude just really fill up the whole body. So whatever scenario we walk into after this class, we walk into in an energy of gratitude. Bring your hands to a prayer at the third eye, roll them to the heart space, tip the chin forward. Look after the universe that you live in and the planet that you live on. Take care of all your family and friends. By all your family and friends, I mean all living creatures that live, walk and breathe upon this earth. Inhale the hands to the third eye. Namaste. Namaste, everybody. Thank you very much for joining me with my little swimming with dolphins morning routine. It really energizes the heart space and, and all of this energy up to the mind. And also that last little sequence is a little bit more gentle with the twists on the spine and, and the opening of the hips. But I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit like, subscribe. And if you want to know when I release my next video, click the little bell, you'll get notifications. But thank you for joining me as always. I hope to be doing more little short videos for you all the time, mainly because I've had some requests, but like, 
I do enjoy doing them. So if you want some requests, just put it down there in, in the um, in the comments, and uh, I'll see what I can do for you. In the meantime, have a wonderful day. Stay happy, people. Namaste.